Welcome to the 2021 Corgan Family Christmas Spectacular. There's no Corgan family. They're all uh, at home making dinner. But thank you very much for joining me on this live special. I think this is the first time I've ever done a live thing like this. So um, thank you for inspiring it. I got to thinking after I did a couple shows here at Madame Zuzu's that I wanted to share with you um, no strings attached. Um, I wanted to share with you the spirit of Christmas. Um, I'll talk about what's been going on with me lately in a, in a few songs or so, but what's most important is that you're here and that we're here together to share in the spirit of Christmas. I want to play for you some of my favorite Christmas songs, which um, for historical or biographical context, I started preparing a few years ago as we were working on a Smashing Pumpkins Christmas album which uh, never really got off the ground, but we had sort of prepared these materials. And so I went back to those and found that I really liked what we were doing. And I'm still hopeful that at some point we can do something. So I actually, was actually talking to Jimmy Chamberlain the other day about how we would actually figure out how to <laughs> record these at some point without it taking six months in the middle of the summer. Anyway, that's for another day. I hope you're warm uh, wherever you are. I hope you're getting ready for the Christmas season, the holiday season. Uh, everyone of every faith, every background, I hope that this is a special time for you and that you're with your loved ones. And, um, oh, uh, one quick thing. I've added Pause Chicago to a, a charitable function here. I see we've already raised a little bit of money with some donations, and uh, and I don't mean to say a little bit. I, I'm, I'm in awe of anybody donating. Thank you. Um, every dollar counts. Pause Chicago. If you don't know, for those of you who may be outside the States, uh, Paw Chicago is a no-kill shelter here in the Chicago area. I worked with them for over 10 years. Um, it's our favorite charity. We're very close to the people who run the charity. My first cats that I got way back when, 20 years ago or so, were from Paws when it was just a small little storefront. Now it's in this massive operation and it's a no-kill shelter and the, other than when animals are at the end of their life or they've gone you know, mad Unfortunately, it does happen sometimes. Uh, they'll do everything in their power to place these animals with a loving home. So thank you to everyone donating. Um, every penny counts, every dollar counts. And for those of you having a hard time, I realize this is a really hard time for many people. There's lots of issues going on with the uh, economy slash inflation. Uh, so please, I want you here. Please don't feel any obligation to donate. Um, this is my gift to you, and I hope you receive it as such. And to those of you donated, thank you. And to those of you who can't, uh, just being here is part of that spirit and I know the Paws family very well and the fact that they know that you're here in support of Paws Chicago even in spirit means the world to them so thank you to everybody for being here hope you have a wonderful time I'll talk a little bit between songs for the most part I'm just gonna play some songs and for those of you who are time conscious it's probably gonna be about an hour or so so have a great time uh, the microphone which is not obviously connected to that uh, is because I figured I might as well record. So even though I'm here at Zuzu's, we've got a little bit of a recording set up to record. And hopefully one day it can be an archival release um, in the future for the Smashing Pumpkins archives. So anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone. And please sit back and enjoy. And uh, I'll talk to you as we go.
Thank you. There's no applause. It's in my mind. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. Which
alibi. Joy, joy for Christ is born. The baby. So when I was playing here the other night at Zuzu's, I'll give you the same introduction that I gave then on this song. Uh, this is a song that I wrote for the, the Pumpkins Christmas album. It's called Evergreen, and it's a few years old. And uh, I guess this would be the third time I play it in public. Hope you like it. Um, every time I play it, I really feel the spirit. So I'm very grateful to have written this, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I Enjoy writing. show, as we would say in the pumpkins. Now this next song is a, um, is a song by the singer of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Gene Autry, and I believe he wrote the song, I Should Know Better. Um, somebody wants to fact check me on that. Sorry to.
as I oftentimes say in the studio, I look forward to the day I never have to tune a guitar again. We're here in Chicago, obviously, if you haven't figured that one out yet. Pretty dry up here. To those of you uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, like my friends in Australia and New Zealand, <laughs> enjoy the summer. Why we're waltzing, why we're dreaming, everyone's dreaming too. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Bells are ringing, clearer and clearer. Rain in Christmas, nearer and nearer. Music playing, couples swaying. What a beautiful sight And the season is the reason We're so happy tonight So stay in my arms Darling, keep singing too Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Why we're waltzing, why we're singing, everyone's singing to Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Bells are ringing, clearer and clearer. Ring in Christmas, nearer and nearer. Music playing, couples swaying, what a beautiful. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Thanks so much to everybody that's donated so far to Paw Chicago. It's an amazing charity, so I can't thank you enough. Now when I uh, introduce this next song here at Zuzu's for the uh, Christmas Corgan Show Spectacular. Um, I will repeat my introduction for you, since you're all here. And that was when I was a little kid, many, many moons ago. I used to think this song was really stupid. Um, I just didn't get it. Who would write a song about a Christmas tree? And uh, here I am, many, many moons later, playing you this Christmas song. I actually like it. <laughs> and the first night I explained the story, after I finished the song, there was this kind of, this kind of applause. <laughs> like, they obviously didn't like the song much either. But um, the second night I told the same story, and at the end, the song got a standing ovation. So wherever you are, <laughs> may you uh, <laughs> stand for this one as well.
Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, you fill my heart with music. Oh Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, you fill my heart with music. Reminding me on Christmas Day to think of you and then be gay. Oh Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, you fill my heart with music. Oh Christmas tree, the branches green, the light us. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, your branches green, the light us. Back to tuning. So this, uh, this here song, I used to sing when I was in choir in high school. I have a distinct memory of playing this, not playing, singing this song, you know, in the bleachers, the 60 boys choir. I guess it would have been at uh, Glenburn North, Carroll Stream, Illinois, circa 1980 or 84. And uh, it certainly is probably my favorite Christmas song. If we ever get to it.
Thank you again to everybody donating to Boz. Really appreciate it. And to those of you that are hurting and uh, have had a hard year and um, yeah, just praying for you and hang in there. And uh, just know that life, you know, is about the real things. You know? Love and togetherness and family and good friends, good times. So I hope this is a good time for you. So this song, uh, I was preparing for the show. I found this song kind of in amongst my stuff. And I'd kind of forgetting that, forgotten that I'd written this song. And what's weird about it is there's a video of me playing the song, I think even in the same shirt. Um, and uh, I can't tell you when I wrote it. It could be three Christmases ago, it could be four Christmases ago, it could be two. I honestly don't remember. Because probably about December 24th, I would have gotten inspired, written the song after the kids had gone to bed, kind of thing. And uh, woke up the next morning and just moved on. So I really like this a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. It's called The Magi and the Shiny. And for those of you who want to share this, um, obviously you have to follow me to see most of this. 
We're going to share a couple of these on the pumpkin socials. But those of you who might want to share this with friends that you know who follow me, um, I'll leave this show up for about 24 hours. So please feel free. As, uh, I obviously want as many people to see it, even though that I'm banned. Um, <laughs> No complaining here. Only happy stuff. at the end. Hope you had a good time. Kind of interesting playing without an audience. I mean, you're here, but nobody else is here. In fact, even the people running the camera and the audio have left. So it's just us. So on a sad note, um, I'm sure most of you know, but not everybody knows because I keep getting silly messages, which tells me that they don't know. Um, that my father passed away a few days ago at the age of 74. He was at home and he collapsed and had a massive heart attack and was pronounced dead on the scene and luckily was revived and lived a few more hours. But when he passed, he was being transported to another hospital via helicopter. So I, I love the image of my father passing off to heaven already above the earth. So 
to those of you who sent me messages, I've literally received probably a thousand messages from people like you and uh, people in the music industry, people in the wrestling industry, people who don't even know me. Um, it's been pretty impressive. And so I feel very, very uh, loved and supported. So thank you very much if you have sent me a message. And uh, if you didn't know, understand it's a crazy world. Um, it's funny to get to <laughs> when you're in that mood, you know, like you get these messages and you're obviously thinking a lot about your family and stuff like that. And then I'll open a message, you know, thinking, you know, it's nicely another message like, oh, sorry to hear about your dad. And it'll be like, hey, man, what solo, uh, what pedal did you use on this solo? <laughs> so, gotta love it. So just a couple more. And uh, to those of you who um, will be home for Christmas, uh, I wish you the most uh, happy and safe holiday. And please be careful, as you know, Lots of people tend to imbibe, as we say, on the holidays. So please be careful, you're gonna be on the roads. And uh, for those of you who can't make it home to your family, to our service members who are stationed overseas, stuff like that, I can only send you the best. And I hope that this little show brings you a little closer to home. Last song. Thanks again. Uh, we've raised almost, uh, we raised $2,729.72. That's pretty amazing. Thank you. If you knew how many uh, puppies and kitties that'll save, you, you would blow your mind. So, thank you so much. And Paul's, Paws does cool stuff like they have a van uh, that goes into uh, different communities and helps. Uh, Spay and neuter pets, which has really significantly driven down the uh, stray population in Chicago, I think by something like 70%. It's a crazy number. And uh, really reduced the number of animals that are going to be euthanized in traditional shelters. So thank you again. It means a lot to my family. I know that Chloe, although she isn't here, is watching and criticizing me. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll get home and I'll be like, I'll get home and I'll be like, uh, why does she keep stopping? Why are you complaining? <laughs> Oh 
Christmas, everyone. Thank you.